Hey everyone, so Lacoste is a brand that I purchased many fragrances from in the past and I have a lot of their offerings including Noir which is in a black bottle but here we're going to take a look at the newest release from the L1212 collection. This one is called Blanc Au Fresh. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of L1212 Blanc Eau Fraiche by Lacoste and I tell you all about this fragrance, what it smells like, how long it lasts, so on and so forth, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content, and especially if you took something of value from today's video. So here we have a brand new fragrance. Of course, this is a flanker of Blanc, which is another fragrance that was previously released by Lacoste. And L1212 is their internal code for their polo shirts, which is something that is quite iconic from the Lacoste cost brand. And so here we have a very bright, vibrant and fresh fragrance. So there's a bit of citrus in here. We have grapefruit and lemon. You also have like this spicy effervescent ginger note in the opening, but things actually do get quite dark in the dry down with vetiver and cedar wood. And you have uh, numerous other ingredients working their magic in this fragrance. But in any case, I'm gonna be focusing on the smell and the performance of this fragrance so that you can better determine if this is a fragrance worth purchasing for you. <laughs> it was a blind buy for me, but let's go ahead and start things off at the presentation. So of course, right in the opening of this fragrance, it really holds credence to the name L1212 Blanc Eau Fresh. So when you think of Blanc, you probably think of cleanliness, purity, serenity, so on and so forth. And then if it, you know, oh, fresh, fresh water, right? So you think of, you know, just something that is going to be very bright and fresh and perhaps refreshing. And I do think that that's precisely the effect that the citrus and ginger combination in the opening is having in this fragrance. And so I do get a lot of that grapefruit that's in here and it's probably stronger than the lemon. And the only reason why I say that is because when I smell this, I smell citrus, but I don't necessarily pick up on lemon per se. There are a lot of other fragrances out there, like there's one by Cartier that was recently released called Declaration Hot Fraîcheur. That one has a lot of lemon in the opening. I was like, oh my God, I get so much lemon from this. This one, on the other hand, not so much. So it kind of has like this generic citrusy opening, which is pretty solid in my opinion. You know, if you're looking for something very easygoing, easy to wear, something that's also gonna possess a bit of that compliment factor, I think you'll certainly find it with this fragrance. And then of course, as the fragrance starts to dry down, especially in the heart, you kind of have this combination of juniper and lavender. And so with the lavender that's in here, definitely gives off a bit of a youthful masculine vibe. And the reason I say that is because lavender can lean a little bit more traditional, but I think Think that has a lot to do with the other notes with which it's paired. So if you see like fir or oak moss or pine or a lot of these dark green notes or even geranium in the case of most traditional fougere fragrances, that's not what's happening here. But I think the juniper in combination with the woodsy essences in the base like the cedar wood are giving things a bit of a darker characteristic, allowing it to pop. And it also offers a really nice contrast to the freshness. Now, even in the dry down, I do think it smells a bit generic in the sense that everything sort of comes together very nicely. You're not gonna have any one particular ingredient that seems to be rogue in a sense that deviates from everything else like they're all soldiers marching in a straight line so to speak and of course you also get amber fix in the base which definitely adds a certain freshness to the fragrance so this is one of those citrusy ginger spicy fresh clary sage types of fragrances, clarine, you know, very fresh, modern, youthful, contemporary, but also very clean and professional smelling as well. Now, what I've noticed with a lot of Lacoste fragrances is that none of them ever smell particularly natural. And what I mean by that is when you try a lot of other fragrances from a variety of different fragrance brands, let's take Dior Homme, for example, 
You smell a lot of iris. Uh, let's say you smell Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera. You smell a lot of chocolate. So this fragrance doesn't necessarily have one or two notes in particular that really jump out at you, but more so a combination, a medley of all of the ingredients in here. Like for example, there's apple. I don't think anything smells explicitly of apple in this fragrance, but it does have this sort of general fruity sweetness about it that adds a sort of amiable quality to the fragrance. So it's fruity, it has a, a lot of that citrusy goodness in the opening that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. However, it is quite volatile and ephemeral, so it's not going to last more than about 15 or 20 minutes, but you are going to get that sort of vetiver cedar wood combination in the base. And it's really interesting how it adds a, a darker element to the fragrance, however, without it being too dark, which I think is a good thing because I can see a lot of people purchasing this with the mindset and the intention that this is going to be a fresh offering, especially with a name like O oh Fresh. And so they don't want anything that's going to be too dark, but they want some sustaining ingredients that are probably going to enhance the longevity of the fragrance. And I think that that's what's happening here. So definitely this is a fresh fragrance with a lot of citrus, a spicy ginger note that also conveys a sense of freshness about it. And then you have some long lasting woodsy ingredients in the base. The lavender is in there, but it's not the star player. And then of course you also have the amber fix, which adds that sort of fresh component to the fragrance. And so this is very bright, a little aromatic, and very easy to wear. I had my wife smell it, she loves it. <laughs> and that was no surprise, right? She's a fan of, you know, some of the brighter, fresher offerings, and this is definitely it. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I don't think it's too unique in the sense that I've smelled a lot of other citrus-based fragrances that kind of just keep things in a fresh direction. And they don't have a whole lot of inventiveness behind them, but they are quite functional and versatile. And those Swiss Army Knife types of fragrances that are super easy to recommend to other people. And it goes without saying that the overall smell for this one is Again, very versatile, very easy to wear. And yes, this is the type of fragrance that I can see you getting many compliments with just because it's so functional and it's so inoffensive and so mass appealing. Longevity on it, however, was around the six hour mark, maybe five and a half to six hours. So it is technically gonna get you through the workday. It's not super expensive, so you can afford to reapply. Uh, I actually purchased my bottle from Macy's on January. January 9th. It arrived a few days ago. I've been wearing it ever since. And yeah, I just love wearing it to work. Very functional, very easy to wear. Projection on it was great for the first hour. Definitely radiated slightly beyond an arm's length, but it did start to sit pretty close to the skin, probably an elbow's length at that two hour mark. And then a skin scent at that four and a half to five hour mark. And then I would say at the six hour mark, it's totally kaput. Versatility for this one, great. I think it's perfect for the hotter weather. Definitely perfect for like an office environment, not a date night. I think for a date night, you can wear something a little more sensual, a little bit more mysterious, maybe something with a touch of sweetness to it. I know Rouge is another offering of theirs. And I think even something like that, or even Noir, right? Cause that one had a bit of a chocolatey vibe. Even something like that would probably be good for like a four or like a date night or romantic setting but i do think this is great for the hotter weather i think this will probably appeal to somebody who's a little bit younger but again you know if you like the way that it smells by all means please purchase it please wear it wear what makes you happy and the presentation for this one i do like that sort of like light green color to the liquid and some of the accents on the box here. And I do like the feel on the back here with of course the, um, the Lacoste insignia on the front. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are not necessarily bothered or concerned by, I hate to use this word, but generic smelling fragrances, you want something that just smells very clean, fresh, really nice bit of citrus, very functional, easy to wear. You're not looking for something that's gonna be groundbreaking or avant-garde. You just want something that you're gonna get complimented on, something that's gonna get you through the day, and something with a very amicable personality. Definitely check out L12 Blanc, uh, excuse me, L1212 Blanc Eau Fresh by Lacoste the newest release, 2022 release. And I will say this much, I definitely see, 
drop my test trip there. I definitely see myself wearing this fragrance a lot this year just because now after the winter time we're going to get into some warmer temperatures and i'm going to be working all the way through june so this one is going to get a lot of play for me and i definitely look forward to doing my top 10 of 2022 uh, and so this is perhaps one that i will feature in that list depending on how often i see myself wearing it and uh, truth be told i do my i do see myself wearing it quite often for the you know functionality of it so there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you some value today. That was my review of the L1212 Blanc Eau Fresh by Lacoste. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any fragrance from the L1212 line, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you have a favorite, also let me know. Leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate your viewership. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.